Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with an underloved, undercared for, and probably underused weapon in Modern Warfare 3, the Sidewinder. Let's take a look at it and see if it's worth reconsidering. As configured, let's start with the damage. 84 to the head, 60 upper and lower torso, and 57 to the legs, which means this is going to be a two-shot kill to the head, which at 320 milliseconds, three-shot kill everywhere else, including if you mix in a headshot, it's not going to decrease the number of shots it takes to kill. 480 milliseconds everywhere else. This doesn't sound that great, but if you take a look at the range, 19.1 meters with a minimum damage range of 36.8 seconds. Sidewinder's been buffed a few times over the life cycle. The bullet velocity is up to 770 meters per second, making it a reasonable choice for long-range fights. And taking a look at the recoil, the gun kick is almost non-existent at 26.68 degrees per second. Horizontal recoil is also very low at 12.04 degrees per second. It's the vertical recoil that you need to control, but it's easy to control at 51.75 degrees per second. Decent accuracy on the minimum hip fire spread and tax stance spread. Spread. Movement speed about average, 4.3 meters per second. Sprint speed 5.5. Tactical sprint speed just under 7 meters per second at 6.8. And ADS movement speed is a decent 2.5 meters per second. ADS speed is pretty average at 264 milliseconds. The sprint to fire speed is outstanding at 205 milliseconds, making this a reasonable rush rep weapon. So let's take this onto the field of honor and see, is it like Grandpa Newbie? A bit underloved, underused. Grandpa looking for some false pity there. Every COD title, there's always one weapon that I swear I will never use. And for this one, it was the Sidewinder. Once I got it to Interstellar, you can see that it's a beam. I thought I would never pick it up again, but you can see I'm using forged camo because I'm going for the mastery, which is a thousand more kills in various camo configurations. So I expected there to be a lot of vertical recoil, and you can see at distance, I just didn't see it in this in this free for all. I didn't see it in any of the other games that I played with it. I played several and I will get it to a thousand kills because I actually enjoyed using it. I didn't want to. I thought I'd hate it. It's kind of like Vegemite if you've ever had that. You first taste it you say I'm never going to try this again. And then you spread it on a crumpet and think uh, I'm not going to like it but starts to grow on you and the sidewinder is like vegemite it grew on me quick kills even though the time to kill didn't seem that quick when you do the calculations look at there that's a distance no recoil even though it says 51 degrees i don't know if that number's wrong or it's just so easy to control that you do it naturally so you know that terminal on free-for-alls turned up turned into a camp fest in the buildings or up on top of some structure somewhere. So I fully expected that. And it's very mobile. The weapon's very, very mobile. And if you get the first shot on them, if they don't see you, they are gacked. They're visiting Gaxville. And you're playing a gack -a mole with a Sidewinder. Very accurate weapon now and a very hard punch. It felt like a hard punch. Is it better than the Bass B? I don't think so. But I tell you, it seems to, to do its job like the Bass B. Look at that guy. I don't know what he's doing. So the touring. He's touring the roof there. I don't know, did I just call this map terminal? It's high rise. You can see that very comfortable with it. In fact, it's 
a semi-permanent class for me. Just absolute straight as an arrow. One more kill to go, and the Sidewinder has done its job. I'm going to put out the turret just for fun. Looking for the 30th kill. There he is. And it's a Snickers win. It's so satisfying. My thoughts on the Sidewinder. It's an awesome weapon. You got to try it again. I think you'll like it. Please like and subscribe. Cheers and peace.